welcome back to Autism Live. I'm really excited right now because you know one of the things that I love here on the show is when you guys ask for something and I'm able to give it to you. And you guys have been asking me for months to do a piece on Swim Team. And I'm so excited because joining us via Skype right now is Laura Stolman. She's the writer, director, producer of this very incredible, important, pivotal film, Swim Team, which is, a, there are screenings right now that you can see around the country. And then on the 2nd of October, you're gonna be able to see this on PBS. So Laura, Thank you so much for being willing to be with us because I know you are super, super busy right now, but we're thrilled to have you here. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Now, we have to start at the beginning of this because this, uh, and we're going to talk more about the film, but I think we have to give our viewers a little bit of backstory into how you came to do this film. So talk to us. Tell us the, the dish. So I myself have a son with autism, uh, and he eloped when he was little. He, uh, he wandered, and we had a pool in the backyard. So it was really, really important to my husband and I that we get our son swimming uh, as soon as possible uh, so that uh, he, we didn't have any tragic accidents. So we tried to find him swimming lessons, and it wasn't easy. Uh, and I, in fact, I, I say this as I, I'm touring with the film um, to audiences often, that when your child is on the spectrum, it's not easy to find uh, recreational opportunities, lessons, uh, anything in the community. Uh, so it took, it was a process and it took uh, a few years. And along the way, I found out about Coach Mike uh, and Maria and they were involved in a Special Olympics team that wasn't that far from my house. And I went to meet with them, and I saw them training their son, Mikey. And he was, I think, 16 at the time. He was uh, 16, I think 16. And he just was this incredible swimmer on the spectrum with just real talent in the water. And I, I was impressed with him, and I was really impressed with Coach Mike, who said he was starting his own team, recruiting kids on the spectrum, and that his team would dominate the competition. And at what point did you say to yourself, okay, this is such a big story that I want to document it? Well, that was it. When he said this team would dominate the competition, that blew me away. You know, I just wanted someone to teach my son how to swim. Um, and nobody talks that way about children with autism. Uh, he was a quintessential coach with high expectations. And I was just really swept up in his positivity. Uh, and I, within a few days, I decided that what was about to unfold with his team was something I thought was really important to capture. Uh, and this is, I, I'm a, I come from a filmmaking background, so that's, you know, <laughs> that's the other thing you have to keep in mind. I, you know, I'm always thinking, I'm always looking at, at, at uh, what's happening in my life and, and around me from the standpoint of, is this a good story? Is that a good story? So it was uh, really um, a perfect storm of what was, you know, something that was important happening in my life, but also, uh, um, you know, this great you know, film, film idea, uh, coming together. Well, I love things like that when it all comes together and, and all of a sudden, you know, here you are with this unique perspective as a mom needing to get your child swim lessons, but as a filmmaker and those things dovetail together, I always think that that's like, it's, it's like a volcano and it's a higher purpose. So, and truly that's really what it's become because this film is changing people's hearts and minds all over the country, all over the world when they see it, and more people are about to be able to see it. So let's talk, well, maybe we should take a second and look at the trailer to give our, our audience an idea if they haven't already heard about it. Shall we do that? Sure. Let's take a look. This is Swim Team. Guys, give the best as you got. Who's oh, with me? Gosh. Hammerhead! Hammerhead! Some kids, they stare at me, who's this fast kid? The front stroke may be a little bit tough, but the breast stroke may be really hard. As I know autistic means, there's a person that's different than other kids. Our team, they have some type of autism spectrum disorder, which is not very common for a swim team. They're gonna swim. 
kills me. Coaching a special needs team versus a regular swim team, it's night and day. I know, I know the ticks ball. You just have to work with him a little bit. He's good, though. If you are the fastest swimmer, me and Mike will take care of who wants to be faster than us. <laughs> so many people don't give our kids a chance to do anything. There's no resources for these children. They're just going to send him to Walmart so he can stock. That's not what we want. Kelvin feels frustrated about his ticks. People stare at him, laugh at him. He cannot control that. He's not doing those on purpose. One time or other, all of our kids have been ostracized. Michael goes, why did God make me different, Deb? What did I do wrong? He said, because you're special. God made you special. A lot of normal boys can't do what you do. Michael Phelps. He got 23 gold medals, not bronze. You want gold, you have to work hard for this. Take your mark. When I'm swimming, I feel normal. It feels amazing for what I swim. You're giving kids an opportunity. The whole thing is you can't give up on your child. It's one race. Yeah. Yeah. Not give up. Fast as you can go. Don't give up. Try not to give up. Laura, I just can't, there are no words. You must be so proud of this film. I am, thank you, I am. Uh, you know, it's getting such uh, great reviews from, I had people, I've had more people write to me about this film than anything else this year. And I have to say, we went to Fest, but we, you know, when we were able to be there, we were there for six hours, but we weren't there during the six hours that you were there. And I was really bummed out about that because the scuttle was all about swim team. I have had people who aren't in the autism community write to me about this film and people in the autism community, not write to me once, but sometimes 10 times saying, when are you going to have swim team on? When are you going to have swim team on? It's really affecting people's hearts and minds and, and, and changing them. Why do you think it's getting, what do you think it is about it? Because I've got an idea about it, but I want to hear from you. What do you think is so unique and special about this film? Well, I, I think actually um, Maria, the mom of one of the main characters, says it in the film. She says, nobody gives our kids a chance to do anything. Uh, and, you know, this is a, this is this incredible underdog team that, uh, that, does end up dominating the competition uh, at the state and national uh, Special Olympics games that we uh, we cover in the film, and it's it's incredibly inspiring. Uh, it's it's a real story of kids who have been excluded most of their lives. They've you know been segregated in public school, and you know many many of them in private placements and. Um, and they continue to face a tremendous amount of exclusion as they are becoming adults uh, and um, a lack of educational opportunities, a lack of employment opportunities, a lack of housing opportunities. And uh, we know as parents of, of, of these kids that they have so much to offer, but they're just not given the support they need. And here's a film where, you know, these kids are given support and they shine and um, I think that's what it is. And, and I think, I mean, you've said many times that at the heart of this, it's a sports story and people can connect to it in that way. There's something to cheer for and something to cheer about. But the fact that you chose, there's a, there's a whole swim team that you're chronicling um, their first year, but the fact that you chose three very different young men. I, I think it's a gift to the autism community because we always say if you've met one person with autism, you've met one person with autism. But for people outside the community, they hear that and they don't really know what it means. And, and you've given us three examples that people can look at and go, oh, okay, these kids are, they're different and their challenges are different. And you didn't pull back from the challenges, but it wasn't about the challenges. And I think that that's what we all need to see. It's the reality of it all, that there are good days and that there are hard things. Um, there, there, I think as a parent, um, 
the fact that you didn't shy away from the parents' perspective of it too, and we get to see the heart of the parents is really amazing, and I appreciate that. And it's it. There are points of it that are a five hanky affair. I'm sure you've heard people say that. There are. <laughs> yeah, there are for me too, and I've seen it hundreds of times, uh, and I still, I still get uh, weepy at a particular moment. And and you've got a bunch of different screenings that are coming. Uh, one that you've got coming up here, um, uh, uh, beginning of next week, middle of next week. Uh, talk to us about that screening and why it's so special. Uh, so, so we are screening as part of the IDA screening series. Is that is that what yes. you're yes. you're referring to? So um, so that's in Los Angeles on September 27th, and I think that um, you can RSVP actually on the International Documentary Association website. Uh, and uh, we um, that is actually um, uh, presenting the film to members of, of the guilds, like the Academy. Uh, we are qualified actually for the Academy Awards, um, but there are a lot of films that are, you know, it's, uh, it's really, I think, you know, every year, I think there are about a hundred films that a hundred documentaries that qualify for, uh, for best, uh, best documentary. But come uh, on. I mean, there's a lot of buzz. It's, it would, it's not, <laughs> it's not crazy to think that you could be nominated. I'm sure that's occurred to you. Uh, look, it's, a, it, I do think it's, it's a long shot, not because the film isn't good. I, I think it's a good film. Um, yes. I, but it's, there's, it's such a competitive landscape. Uh, and so, you know, it's, I do think it's, it's a, it's a long shot, but it's, what's most important for me is that the film is seen as widely as possible. And that's why I'm actually thrilled that it's going to be broadcast on PBS, uh, October 2nd at 10 p.m. And the other thing that's important that I'd like your your viewers to know is that anybody can host a screening of this film. Uh, just come to my website, swimteamthefilm.com, and click on host a screening. You know, we've actually had over 80 organizations right now, and apart from film festivals, uh, requests to host a screening, and schools, um, law firms, uh, autism organizations, of course, uh, but um, anyone can host a screening. And what's so great about that is that after watching a film like this, it's it gives it gives an organization of people, it gives a group of people a chance to talk, and there is so much to talk about. Um, especially the transition issues that um, are urgent for our, our transition-aged kids uh, now in our community. Absolutely. And in fact, the, your film delves into that a little bit about th this cliff and, and how uh, there isn't always a net in which to fall. And sometimes the disappointment, I think what's, and you're an autism parent, I think one of the things that's been hardest for me over the years is when you find out later on that there was something they could have told you about and they just didn't. That's in our film. Yeah, exactly. Actually. There's a moment in our film about this. Yes. Uh, it, it, and when and I thought it was really important actually to put this in the film. But one of the um, one of the characters uh, that we focus on is a young man who is in high school and his parents. Um, decide that they want him to graduate with his class at the end of his senior year. And this is in part because it wasn't fully explained, actually, to the family that not only could he stay until 21, but it was best for him to stay until 21. And uh, interestingly, you know, before the film was finished and before we released it, I was showing it to people in the autism community and showing it to some experts. And I had a number of people say, I can't believe people don't know this. Mm -hmm. uh, that the you know that the IDEA entitles uh, a, a child with autism with an IEP to a free appropriate appropriate public education until 21, and I felt very strongly that there are people that don't know this. You know, yeah. there's the family in the film that didn't really know, uh, and so there yeah there's a lot um, there's a lot to talk about. There's it's so important that parents uh, share information, and that happens in our film and. That's why it's important to see the film and talk about the film because it's a way for us to share information. And we're so isolated as as uh, as parents raising kids with autism, um, and it's it's very hard to sometimes get out of the house. I understand that. 
Uh, but there's nothing better for us, I think, than connecting with other families who we can share our experience with. And um, and it's it's been, I know, so helpful for me uh, and for my family to have these relationships. And, and tell me if this is too personal, but I'm wondering at what point did you watch the film with your son? Was it fairly early on or... When you were... So I, sh- I shared, you know, I have three children, actually. I have, I have two, two typical kids. And I shared the film with my kids um, before it was finished. Uh, I, you know, wanted feedback. I, I wanted them to see what, what mommy was doing, why I was leaving the house. <laughs> uh, and um, so they've been hearing about it and seeing, you know, snippets along the way. And uh, I think the first time my son with autism saw it was in a gr- was at a screening with a lot of people, and he, at, we had a big Q and A after, and the cast was up on the stage, and he was one of the first people that raised his hand in the audience to ask the question, um, and his question was, "Why was it so long?" Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love our kids, don't we? Uh- <laughs> I'm sure that was a, a shining moment for you, but uh, yeah, but the reality of it, um, and, and how did you answer that for him? <laughs> you know, he's, he's, uh, I think he was, he was 10. Um, he just turned 11. He was 10. He, you know, he doesn't always, he can express himself verbally, but he doesn't always express himself appropriately. And um, I think that, you know, the film is a little long for him. Well, it's not, it probably, you know, for, that's a probably a right on target thing for any 10 year old to say, let's be honest, right? Uh, so, you know, not that shocking for 10. Uh, but did you explain to him, this is how long it took the story to take? Or did you say, you know, I was thinking about making it longer or shorter, but this is, did, did you take the time to line it out for him? Um, no, you know what? I think it was, that's him. You know, he, he has the attention span for certain types of films like Lego Ninjago, uh, (laughs) um, Pokemon. Um, I think that it was the type of film. I don't think, you know, even the fact that it was about kids like him and he's starting to understand that he's, you know, who he is and what autism means. And he can certainly say it. Um, I don't. I don't think it was his type of film, actually. I don't think it was, it was his cup of tea. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, too funny. Well, we love this film, and we think it's important for everybody to see it. So I want to go over some of the information again about where they can find out, because you've had a lot of screenings in the last week, and you've got a lot more coming up uh, over the next week. Where, where can they go to find that information? Uh, so please find us on social media. We have a, we have a Facebook page, Swim Team the Film, where we list all of our screenings that are coming up. Uh, we're on Twitter, Swim Team the Film. Uh, the most comprehensive source of information is our website, SwimTeamTheFilm.com, and we list all of the screenings that are coming up. Um, we have news of uh, everything that's happening, and we have a newsletter that you can sign up for so that we can keep you informed about you know, when the DVD will be available, when it, when it will be available for digital download, etc. But the most important event coming up is our broadcast October 2nd. And that will be the, in, the, the entire film is screening, correct? Well, <laughs> actually... Interesting uh, that. So this is yes, this is on POV on PBS, and it is a shorter version of the of the film. It's it's what will be broadcast is 82 minutes, and the film that we screen um, theatrically, and the DVD will be 100 minutes. So it's it is a shorter version on TV. I think it's still great. It's still um, you know it still works. Uh, but if you want more, then <laughs> come to a screening or, you know, get the DVD when it's available, which will be very soon. Okay, fabulous. And I, I just want to thank you. And in parting, what's, what, what do you think is the single biggest thing that you want the audience to get from this? Uh, don't give up on your kid. Um, I think that's, that's a really important message of the film. Um, and that's something that, you know, one of our characters says actually a couple of times. Um, and you know, all, all of our children, you know, they, they may not have extraordinary abilities and this is a very important point. This is not a film about 
individuals with extraordinary abilities. This is a film about individuals with abilities uh, who need some extra support. Uh, and I think, you know, that's, that's the thing to keep in mind is that your child can uh, succeed at something that they're happy you know, with doing, something that they love, uh, and don't give up. Wonderful. We love that message. What's next for you? Have you got plans for the next thing? <laughs> Uh, well, I actually am touring with the film, I've, and, and I'm available. So if somebody wants me to come and speak uh, to their group with the film, um, I come. I can bring members of the cast with me. Uh, we can do, you know, an interactive presentation, uh, and we can, we can work with, um, you know, whatever, the, whatever an organization is interested in. So I've actually been... Um, doing that and enjoying it and we'll probably continue to do it for 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 a little bit i love that and i want to say i don't think it's a long shot i think you're going to get a nom i'm i'm <laughs> saying it here and i've been right about this before so i'm just saying that i think you're going to get a nomination and i hope you do i think you deserve it in any case we want to thank you so much for being here and encourage people to check out on social media and find a screening near you but of course on october 7th be or second i i thought it said it different uh october 2nd on pbs make sure that you're 10 there PM. 10 p.m okay 10 PM. all right thank you so much for being with us thank you take thank care you. bye bye uh, wonderful, wonderful film. You've got to see this film. And you know what? It's a great film to go with people who aren't, who have family, you know, not nobody on the spectrum. It's that kind of a film, a great one to share.